One of the things that people ask me about is how to get a project started. And then after that, how to be consistent. What they don't ask, but was really the third question, is how do I force myself to do it? Because look, as much as I love getting things out the door, some days it sucks. So in order to make this happen, I have this framework that I use in order to get things out the door and get projects launched. It's called the Starting Small Framework. The reason why it's called the Starting Small Framework is because it starts with the premise of starting really small. One of the biggest problems that people have when they think of projects is that they try to do way too much. The problem with doing way too much is that you end up losing energy. You lose steam and the next thing you know, you're quitting. And look, we've all been there where we were going to start running every day or we were going to start building that website that was going to catalog all the lasagna places that you love. Or you were going to take on that new project at work that was going to start bringing a speaker series to your company and make yourself a tastemaker. And it fizzled out. This framework helps you not make the mistake of doing way too much and helps you get more projects off the ground. So the starting small framework, we're going to walk you through three steps, three ideas that are going to make sure that you get that next project off the ground, keep it consistent and put booby traps to make sure that you show up when you need to. You might ask, what have I created with this starting small framework? Well, you're looking at two things that most people know me for. One is the blog. My blog started off as a Tumblr several years ago and just me making posts, but it didn't get serious until 2014. And I used this framework to get it off the ground and keep me consistent in writing every day. The other is the video blog where I started making very small videos that were awful and eventually turned into what it is today. So at this point, we're going to talk about getting started, ignition, making that thing happen. It's the beginning of most of our projects, at least in the physical realm. For most of us, we've thought about these projects way before in the past, and we've gotten the ideas put together, but the rubber has to hit the road and you have to start. So before anything happens, I have to give you the same reminder that the beginning of this video gave you. And that is do not start too big. That's the biggest trap in making new projects die a quick death. So if you're in your head, you have the idea of a huge startup that's going to rival Facebook. Stop right now. The blog is an example. The thing that got me ignited was making sure that I only had to post three sentences a day. That's the level of starting small that I mean, if that sounds too small to what you're doing, there's a reason for that. When you feel like you don't have the inspiration to go on, it's a lot easier to tell yourself that all you need to do is write three sentences or all you need to do is walk to the gym or all you need to do is put one vegetable on your plate. Much easier than thinking about, I have to write a whole blog post or I have to put up 300 pounds today or, or I have to have a plate full of vegetables. Starting small makes it easy to ignite. And ignition is the big piece of this. With starting small, the key is making sure you start small. That way it's much easier to get things done. We've already talked about ignition, meaning how do we get off the ground? Now we're going to talk about a concept called time boxing. 
time boxing is telling yourself you're going to do a task within a box of time. For a lot of people, it's easy to think two minutes. In my video blog, I've talked about the two minute rule. In this case, you can use any amount of time. The key is you just want to make sure that it's a consistent amount of time for your brain to start building a habit that's going to help you become more consistent. Using the example I had before with my blog, I told myself that all I had to do was write three sentences and that I only had to sit at the computer for 10 minutes. That made it so much easier to be consistent with my writing. The key to consistency is making sure it's controlled and easy to do. The last piece of this is what I call a forcing function. What does that mean? Well, remember at the beginning, in the introduction, I was talking about what makes me get up when I don't feel like making things happen. Well, that's what I call a forcing function. A forcing function basically makes sure that you have no choice. What do I mean by that? Let's say you're parachuting. Let's say you decided to parachute. What's the forcing function there? Is it getting the parachute? No. Is it talking to the pilot? No. Is it going in the air? No. There's still a way for you not to parachute once you do that. The forcing function is jumping out of the plane. Let's flip that back into the work I'm doing on this blog. A forcing function for me was to tell people that I write every day. I decided to put in all my email signatures, hey, I wrote something new today. Would you like to take a look? And forcing myself to email people constantly made me have to be honest because the link led to the front page of my blog. The forcing function there is every day I have to send emails. If somebody reads my email and they click, they should see a new blog. If I send more than one email, then they're probably going to have to see two blogs or I look like a liar. And in the business of talking to people, strategy, product, entrepreneurship, your word is all you have. So by making myself a liar, I'd ruin any business that I had. So that's a forcing function. Let's wrap this up. What are the three concepts we talked about? Well, we talked about ignition making sure that you get off the ground and get something started. We talked about consistency and time boxing, which means making sure that you put yourself in a frame of just enough time to make sure it's easy for you to do every day. And we talked about forcing functions, making sure that once you start, there is no stopping. Putting these three things together got me to write this vlog every day. Did I stay in those parameters? No. My blog is varied. I've spent days writing thousand word posts and I've also started a video blog or I've used it as a speaking platform. I don't have to stay within those values to get this done. I just have to ignite, stay consistent and keep the force and function going. And using that framework is how you can keep a project moving. The start small framework will allow you to go out and do big things. <laughs>